Mm -hmm. All right, good. You're killing it. Mm. Your hand skills are on point. What's up guys, David Hoffman here from David's Bin here, coming at you from beautiful Los Angeles, California. Today I'm so excited because I'm here with my boy Torrance Coombs. That's right. Correct, right? Correct. All right, if you guys yeah. don't know who this guy is, <laughs> you haven't been around watching the tutors. So this is Thomas Culpepper. You also play Sebastian Rain. That's right. And you're on Twitch. I'm on Twitch. You're on Twitch. That's what that's what I'm doing these days. All right, so what's Twitch? I mean, uh, I don't even know about oh, that. Oh, Twitch, yeah. You know, we do live streams three times a week. Okay, awesome. Yeah. Usually playing games, but we have all kinds of things, a little variety stream. And I have a Christmas movie out called Much Ado About Christmas. Much Ado About Christmas. Yes. Perfect. So uh, it just came out uh, a couple weeks ago, and it'll be playing throughout the holiday season. Awesome. Well, dude, are you excited to eat Indian food? Oh, yeah. Yeah? You like spicy, right? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. All right, so we're here yeah. at Bombay Frankie Company. This place does Bombay Frankie, which is basically a Kathy roll that is like a burrito, right? Indian burrito. They have a lot of different things. We're going to eat some chicken tikka masala. We're going to eat some paneer, which is cottage cheese. And this is in Culver City. So where's Culver City? Kind of close to the airport in LA. Okay, so between the <laughs> airport and West Hollywood, right? That's right, yeah. Okay. Exactly. So you're hungry? Ready? Yeah. <laughs> I'm starving. We just met, by the way. Yeah. This is fun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, spicy for breakfast. Uh, that's that's not usually how I roll, but I'm into it. Frankie's Indian burritos. They got chicken tikka masala. They have shahi okay. paneer, alu gobi, which is basically ca cauliflower. Okay. So th th some of the staples here, right? Basically everything that the Western palate's used to. And they don't use cream or butter here because it's more vegan. Obviously, like catering to the California palate, right? Yes. Yeah. California is ruining everything. <laughs> Priyanka, how are you doing? Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So tell me a little bit about Bombay Frankie Company. So we started in 2017 in a gas station. We wanted to bring a fresh new take on Indian food to the LA market and we make Indian burritos. So now we have outdoor seating, you don't have parking issues, so a fresh new spot. So we ordered like five different things. We're starting with the biryani. What type of biryani is this? Chicken biryani. Yes. Briani is? No. No? I've oh. probably had it. Okay. But I don't know what it's called. I don't know I, I don't know what that is. So Briani is a mixed layered rice dish. It's the king of dishes in India. In the beginning it was the Mughal emperors. They got to eat it, the people didn't get to have it. Now everybody has it. But it's like the king of dishes. Okay. Huh? I, I, I like I'm that introduced me to the king, sir. Do you want a chicken curry? Okay. I'll take a rice. Ready? So they put the rice right, right on top, and this is more like a stir fry biryani, a little different, right? Obviously, they can't do the mixed layers here because they don't have the big vats, but this is how they do it. Okay. Well, incredible, yeah. esto. Delicioso. Yeah. Cilantro. Cilantro. And one lemon wedge. Flour. That's different. Mm hmm. And right here he's making the garlic naan, so we're not using parata for this one, we're doing garlic naan for the chicken tikka masala, masala frankie, right? Yeah. Awesome, and instead of a tandoor, like the clay oven, they have this, so it just goes two circles and it's done. Oh, it's hummus. Yeah. Diced tomatoes, cucumbers, jera potatoes. Mint crema. Okay. Wow. So that's a Frankie. This is a Frankie Tikka Masala. Excited or what? Oh yeah. <laughs> awesome. I won't lie, my mouth is watering. 
Yeah. Oh, the chicken I'm tikka? soaking through the mask right now. Yeah, right? <laughs> Drool. Salivating. Yeah, everywhere. Oh, this food's gonna be amazing. And then next up, we have what? Fish tacos. Yes. Fish tacos. I'm not content with the lack of content. This though, this is a fish pakora. Okay, I need two pieces. We need to fry it. The chicken tikka masala, Frankie. So it's a burrito, right? Mm -hmm. Over here we have, mm, this is the chicken biryani, right? Okay, so, um, yes. So this is the king. This is the king, right? Well, we should, we should pay our respects to his majesty. Yeah, right? Yes. You know what they call me in India? So what do they call the you? Puri King. <laughs> <laughs> here we have the fish tacos, which looks amazing. So they, they use the non bread, right? As, yeah. as the, like where you use the flour tortilla, yeah, right? Okay. And then they put the fish pakora and then they put some, uh, some onions, some cilantro, right? And then they added, what else did they add? Oh, some tamarind chutney and raita. The same thing uh, in this guy. Okay. So tamarind chutney is like sweet. Yeah. And then raita is just yogurt yeah. to cool you down, right? Yeah. Usually it's how it works. And then what else we have? Okay, so we have a potato and a beef samosa. Okay. So great, this is great. like the. I guess this is what you would call like the it's even got like a cool little label oh, yeah. on here too. It says beef on it. Put it right there. Let's okay. We'll start with yeah, this. This is basically an appetizer. Exactly. In India, you probably have two or three of these a day just on the go. Right. You know, it's a fast you know thing. Yeah. And this is beef, which is sort of taboo in India. But if you go to Kerala, some places in Northeast, mm -hmm. they eat beef. All right. More right. Christians up there. So if you want, this I can break this up. Sure. Oh yes, right there. So this is the beef, right? Woo! Yes, sir. We got some chutneys. So. Do you know about the chutneys in India? A little bit? I do a little bit, yes. Okay, so there's usually the sweet one, which is tamarind. Right, which That's I love. That would be this one, right? Mm -hmm. This is like a mint, is that right? Something it should like be that. mint, or it could be cilantro, and then next to it we also have the raita, which is... minty. Yeah, and this one is, yeah, this is definitely yogurt. You going with that one? I'm going with this one, sweet. All right. Cheers, cheers. Mmm. Mm-hmm. All the spices, nice minced meat. That's interesting, actually. Yeah, it's not heavy. Mm hmm. Mm. Oh well, it's got a, a light crunch to it. Mm hmm. Nice crunch. Mm. Lots of juices in there. Mm. It feels shameful to not eat that uh, last bite. Don't we worry, got, we got we'll, a lot left here. We'll keep it. We'll, we'll, I mean, the way I do it is I usually try everything, and then later I'll eat what I like. Mm. So I got the biggest piece here. Cheers. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mm. Nice spicy mashed potatoes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh yeah, man. This is good. It's nice. It's like comfort food. It's nice with the tamarind. Mm-hmm. Tamarind is my favorite. Coconut chutney, second favorite. Yeah. Let's, let's do this. Let's, let's do, do this. this. We're gonna get a little messy. This gonna be fine, right? Yeah. That's what the napkins are for. <laughs> this is gonna be awesome. All fish right. tacos. So I haven't had like Indian fish tacos before. It's I gonna feel be like there's gonna be something's gonna fall down here. <laughs> for sure. We need so. this. <laughs> and if you get too spicy, you just pull one of these out. So this is Lassi. All right. Yes. So it's spelled Lassi. L A S S I, but people say Lossi. Oh, yeah, let's So basically, that. if you fall down the well of spice, Lassi's gonna save you. Oh, for sure. <laughs> yeah, and people in India, especially because it's so hot, yeah, right. they'll have this right away. Right, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay you, wanna, you wanna try one of these? Okay. Which one you want? Um, we'll just, I've, yeah. I, I've, I've had a mango before, I've never tried this Rose Daddy. Okay, perfect. Yeah, I'm just gonna get a little bit here. Yeah, it's nice and thick. She thick. Yeah, so uh, the family is from Punjab, so this is where. You know, Lassi is like really famous in Punjab. Right. That's okay. Amritsar, Golden Temple, Sikh religion up there. All right. And it's usually thick. Mm hmm. Nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Good? That's, yeah. Rose it's, nice. it, it's, it's sort of, it's almost like drinking a sauce. Mm -hmm. It's like, uh, I can tell that if you eat something that's too spicy, that's where you cool yourself down. Yeah, it cools you down. I mean, it basically like equalizes you, mm -hmm. you know? Because mm -hmm. if not, you're gonna get that spice and you keep going, right? Yeah, yeah. I think we have to Got dive it. in here. I think we have to. I think this one. All right, sir. Mexican We're not style. getting out of this without getting our hands messy, so no, we have to get messy. Yeah, yeah, right? You know. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> mm. 
Mm -hmm. It's all good. interesting. You know what's interesting about this is it, it definitely tastes like a fish taco, but I can tell that that's pakora. Mm -hmm. It's the marination, right? Mm -hmm. What are they marinated with? It's like masalas, and they fry it. Mm. So they have spicy cabbage in here, You're using naan over using traditional like flour tortilla, Mexican style, right? Oh, it's nice and filling. The naan actually holds together better than a regular, like fish tacos always fall apart in my mm -hmm. hand. This is like, the naan's made to absorb a bit of sauce. Exactly, and what it does is it's, it's thicker, right? Usually the flour tortilla is so thin. Mm. Mm. Too good. Mm -mm. Mm. So you know the way I do it is that uh, I just eat a lot and then I finish early and then I said load up before lunch and then nothing for the rest of the day. And that's it. <laughs> so this is the chicken tikka masala kathi roll, right? Uh, bottoms up, sir. Bottoms up. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. Okay, nice. So it's creamy. That's fresh, refreshing salad inside. Mmm, I love the naan. That's great. Again, the naan holds up to, uh, to scrutiny. The naan holds up to sauce. Yeah. Yeah, it holds it all together, right? Mmm. It was huge. You got the spices so, in here, right? Yeah, so it's, I mean, it's definitely, it fools you. It's one of these things, so, when I shot this Christmas movie that I did this year, we shot it in Romania in the middle of the night in the summer. Okay. Like 100 degrees outside, but I'm wearing a sweater and a coat and another sweater and a, and a hat and, a, and, and um, there's snow on the ground, it's fake snow, there's fake snow falling from the sky, there's everything happening and in the middle of a Romanian summer, in the middle of the night, because of all the snow, because of all the trees, the lighting, the Christmas carols, uh, my brain was fooled into thinking I was cold. I was just drenched in sweat. I truly believed it was Christmas for a few short moments. In that way, my brain is fooling me into thinking that this is a burrito, and yet it tastes like India. I mean, it's too good to like, just put it down, right? Hold on, one more bite. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one's saved only by the wrapping, so mm -hmm. then I can pick it back up again. Otherwise, this is a yeah. exactly so keep it in the wrapping, right? On the hatch, yeah. I think next you gotta try the sag paneer. So this is something that you're gonna get in most like North Indian restaurants. Okay. You know, sag paneer, which is uh, it's not so it's spinach and other greens mixed. So paneer is cottage cheese. Yes. Uh, basically, same thing as ricotta. Yeah, yeah. So it comes in these big chunks. See, like right there. Yeah. Like that. Yeah, put it right here. You know what's so interesting is just psychologically, I don't really care for cottage cheese. Okay. Like, I don't. I, there's something about the little chunkiness of it that, exactly. that creeps me out. This is different. This is like another analogy for you. Tell me. A little, a little spider, a little spider, very creepy, very creepy, spindly the way it moves. And then the first time that I saw a tarantula in person, I'm like, oh, it's large enough to be an animal now. It's no longer creepy to me. Okay. Well, a little creepy still. I got it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I feel like. It's large enough to be an animal now. It's no longer creepy. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the way we do it is okay. north anyway, right? So grab uh, some naan. Okay. Right. Because it's like a, like a. Okay. Yeah, it's garlic. Garlic naan. Oh, garlic naan is the best. Mm -hmm. I mean, garlic naan over plain every day. Yeah. And then what do we do? So this is. I'll show you how you yes, grab please. it. Right. So you do this. Okay. One hand. I got that. One hand. Okay. So you try to break it up, right? And then after that, and you know, that's actually pretty good for India. India, they'll go small. Okay. Yeah, they don't want to get the big. All right. Mm. 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 Wow. Oh, I love it. Then the flavor you get from that is a nice bit of spice. Nice bit of spice, It's got right? a kick to it. Yeah, a little bit, right? Mm -hmm. I think there's also some peppercorn in here, right? Not overpowering, but like, I feel it. It's good. Yeah, exactly. And then yeah. like, you can use the spinach like like this, almost like a spinach dip. Like if you go to like, uh, I don't know, Hillstones or one of these places, yeah. and you love spinach dip, same thing. You don't need more uh, paneer. And this is obviously veg version. 29% right. of India is veg. Yeah, population-wise, right. right? Interesting. Yeah, and you're from Vancouver, mm -hmm. so it's second largest uh, Indian population in Canada. I think it's like a quarter of a million. Toronto has like 600,000. Right. So a lot of good Indian food up there, a right? Of, a lot of good Indian food. It's one of those things you grow up in Vancouver and you take, mm -hmm. you take it for granted how much good 
food there is from around the world, particularly uh, like Asian food. You know, um, a lot of Chinese food. A lot, lot, lot of Chinese, a lot of Japanese, a lot of uh, like Koreans, and Malaysian, mm -hmm. and Vietnamese. Uh, you know, um, and but that Indian food very well represented as well. Yeah. Um, so you love this? I love this. This is so good. This is such a beautiful. Like I, it's funny because I think you could probably not like spinach and not like cheese and still really like this. Still really like this, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that's the funny thing about Indian food because a lot of people are like, oh dude, I don't like vegetarian food. I'm like, yeah, yeah but when you go Indian veg, it's a different thing. No. It's creamy, buttery, pairing it with bread, yeah. and the bread is like phenomenal, right? Yeah. Just a really addictive texture to it. Oh yeah. Super nice. Tandoor, usually smoky, right? I did this one wrong, but it, the result is the same. I think of something that I might. So I, I believe His Majesty um, desires you to accept this briyani. 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 Yes. From the British Raj. Uh, from the from, from the from the what? British Raj. Um, from the British Raj. <laughs> <laughs> so they made this one a little differently, right? It's, so it's more like a briyani stir fry because they do it on the pan. Okay. A little different because in India you're going to do in these massive vats, right? Mm. So I'm gonna give you some of that. So we have chicken here. So it's a mixed layered rice dish. So I'm gonna put some of this on the side. <laughs> I'm gonna put some of this on the side, which is raita, okay. right? So this is yogurt. This is a little thicker. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna put this on the side, and then I'm gonna go straight in here with the hand, like that. Wow, all right. Wow, right? So you mix it up. Usually the chicken is like all right, here we go. on the bone. Yeah, yeah, right there, right? I mean, you're using the five elements, right? These are the five elements okay. of, of basically of life, right? So you do that, like that, and get a little piece like that. I usually keep them on the bottom three fingers. Okay. And then you use this, the thumb to push in, so I go like this. Interesting. Mm -hmm. mm. Great job. Mm. Mm. Nice, yeah. right? So oh, that's delicious, yeah. Yeah, so good. So, and then if you want to, you get some of the raita, right? Yeah. And you go over here and you just mix it in. Okay. So this taste to me, I will say, so I grew up and my parents would make curry. Like we didn't call it anything, it was just called curry. Mm -hmm. That's what we call it. So this tastes the most like that. Yeah. Like I think when they just made, and I, I imagine this is in the realm of what that was, was just like chicken curry. Chicken curry. Without yeah. specifying what type of curry or that, I didn't realize as a child curry was like a broad spectrum of things. Yeah. Because um, curry is just a mix of spices. Exactly, basically. exactly. So this is now, this is, we've now nailed on the flavor of my childhood. Awesome. Yeah. Go. Um, mm. Love it. Amazing, right? Uh, it is, um, yes, yeah, long live the king. Long live the king, exactly. Yes. <laughs> and in India, it's the Maharaj. Yes, the Maharaj. <laughs> How so, do you do that, Raj? How do you do that, exactly. And then here, I'm gonna uh, put some okay. of this on the side. And you can mix if you want, you know? So you can like, do it. you just, you, the thing about Indian food is that there's no right or wrong way, mm. you know? So now I did this, so and they're not, so they don't go, oh, you're doing it wrong, get out of my restaurant. Dude, <laughs> if you're eating with your hands, <laughs> and you're like us, like, you know, white Westerner, they yeah. love it. Because obviously, you know, we're embracing their culture, we're doing things the way they do it. And another thing about it is that the spoon, plastic or metallic, you're gonna have different tastes. You're not gonna get this, the pure essence, you know? Mm. Like the, the herbs, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice fragrance. That's very nice. Mm. Whoa. Whoa. Dude, I'm hitting walls here. Food wise. Mm -hmm. All right. Good. You're killing it. Mm. Your hand skills are on point. Oh, and this is this is not bad. This is good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I prefer this to napkins, anyhow. Mm -hmm. You don't want to waste the grains again, right? Apparently. Exactly. Don't waste the grains. Again, this is the way it should be done. Whoa. <laughs> this is amazing. High five. No, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> and never eat with your left. The left is used for something else. <laughs> All right, it's okay. So, food unites us. Exactly. <laughs> food unites us. So here we go. So let's All take right. a bite, like just like this, and this strain. Right okay. Mm-hmm. Oh man. Ooh. 
Mm. It's a spot, right? Mm. That spinach. Mm. We've got a ton of Indian beers here. Uh, we've got your uh, popular ones, which are from India, um, the Flying Horse as well, and then this is more of your like craft Indian beer. So what is it called? It's called uh, Woodpecker. Yeah, so we have this amazing beer. It's called Woodpecker. Mm. <laughs> Two of my favorite things. <laughs> <laughs> Birds and beer. Get your mind out of the gutter. So, <laughs> you never tried Indian beer before, right? No, I haven't. I don't think so, no. Yeah, I mean, Indian beer, it's, it's funny because it's it's a little taboo in India. People don't really drink beer so much, obviously okay. for religious purposes. Right. But you do find that subculture of, you know, the younger generation. The rebels. Drinks. The rebels, exactly. Mm -hmm. Especially the, all the university kids. Right, of course. They're into this, yeah. you know? Especially with the pandemic. Yeah. Mmm. That's good. Nice flavor, right? Mm -hmm. That's very smooth. Very smooth. So I'm guessing this is a lager. Mostly, like they're gonna usually do lagers. So if you like beer, this is something easy, it's smooth. Uh, flavor though, it's got flavor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for me, like I don't do the, the regular brands anymore because I don't like just water, you know? But yeah, I, I generally find that as well. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I have to go to like microbreweries, especially here in Cali where like every town has like five. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah microbreweries were big in uh, Pacific Northwest too, up in Vancouver. And, yeah, yeah. And I mean, that's, I think it started up there. Like they're in Denver and, yeah. and the Northeast too. I, I feel like that's true. I, I don't have any way to substantiate that. I don't know if it's true, but that felt true to me because we had it in Vancouver widely available and it was and it was a thing and it was talked about and it was the same in Seattle and maybe Portland as well. Okay. Uh, and then I, I felt like when I traveled to other places it wasn't a thing yet and now yeah. it's literally everywhere. And so what do you think of the food here? Awesome? Uh, awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Really awesome. The the burrito, you know, the burrito, like the kind of signature item. The, the I think, Bombay Frankie. The Bombay Frankie, we'll call it. But you know, yeah. the thing that fools you into thinking it's a burrito and then it isn't. Yeah, exactly. It, uh, everything here is beyond delicious, but I think that I see why it's called Bombay Frankie. Bombay Frankie. Yeah, so Bombay Frankie. Frankie is a Kathy roll. Bombay is, a, is Mumbai. Yeah. Bombay was the name the British gave yes. it, right? Yeah. And uh, yeah, I mean, besides the Bombay Frankie, I love the biryani, really nice. The paneer, the samosas are massive. They're giant. And like, this is like a fast casual. So you can come here, have a quick lunch, or you can sit down and get a real meal, right? Torrance Coombs, get that right. Torrance Coombs. Hey, my man. Terrence Coombo. <laughs> Did I say it wrong again? No. no, you got it right. I got it right, okay. I got it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. Definitely follow him. And my man, we're gonna do something together soon? Sounds good. Maybe in Romania? Sure. Romania? You to, yeah, you wanna yeah. join me in Romania? Let's do that. We're gonna do You're it. there, right. I'm there. Yeah. That's my next, right. the, the final frontier for me in the Balkans. Done. So, all, right. Yeah. all right. Hey, thank you, dude. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Boom, boom. Cheers, bro. Thank you so much. Oh my God. I am full. Yeah. <laughs>